Hi, this is Sue with Creations by Sue, and today I am going to show you how I put this name into Embrilliance software. Uh, I stitched this bag out and taught how to do that on a different video, but I wanted to show you how to do the Embrilliance part in this video. So to start, here is my Embrilliance pulled up on my screen, and the first thing I need to do is choose, choose my hoop size. So I'm going to go to that icon which is this one right here and press that and then it brings up the different choices of hoops that I have and I have the Mighty Hoop 5.5 .5 is right here that's how I named it so I'm gonna press OK and then I have the correct hoop size in. The next thing I need to do is put in my letters which I go up to this big letter A and click that and then ABC comes up and over here in the text box, I am going to type in Kristen. Oops. And then press the return key, and there's Kristen. Now I need to find my font, which I'm using Stitchtopia Maya, Maya I think it's called. So then I can click on this box right below the text where you see block, click that. And then I'm going to put in, I start typing Stitchtopia, and you can see that it brought it up. And now I'm going to put in Stitchtopia Maya, and there's Maya right there. Whoops. So I just have to scroll up a little bit, and there is Maya. And I'm going to be using one inch letters for this, I believe. Mm, I think they're 0.5 inch. Boy, I'm forgetting. I'm going to try the one inch. Because since I already did the bag, I'm just showing you how I did this. So it looks like those are correct. But to be sure, I'm going to measure out the letters. Just one moment. I had this all in, and then my computer decided to update without me saying it could. And so I lost every all the uh, what I had for records there. This does look like it's probably the one and a half or one and a quarter inch, so I'll go down one more here. So all I have to do is click on this arrow, and then I can go down, and I'm going to try the 1.5. And I believe this is correct, because I want to show you something else that I did to make this fit. So the next thing that I do here is I want these just a little bit closer together so that the cursive ends go into the letters around them just a little more. So I go to word space right here and let's see. That's not working. Let's try space. Yes, I want just space. All right, so I'm just tightening it a little bit and then I am going to make sure it fits in the hoop because right now it's a little bit big. And so I go up to these boxes right here and sent, that centers it, the box, this one, and the one next to it right here. And you can see it says fit to hoop. So I press that and then it just makes it a little smaller so it fits in that hoop better. I especially like to do that when I'm using the magnetic hoop because the machine does not recognize that hoop. And I always do um, uh, check to make sure it's going to stay in the hoop when I'm on the machine, which I show in the video. But this assures me that it is going to be small enough to fit in that size hoop, which is important to me. So, okay, that's ready to go. Um, say that you wanted to have these letters a little more full because you can see right here on the outline and I can increase being able to look at the stitch outline by um, zooming in more and you can see we have, you know, it looks like it needs a little fill. So then I go here to stitch and I can fill it more. Um, I can also make these a little wider if I want to. So if I do comp one, or let's do comp two, you can see it got a little bigger. I'll go back to zero, fill. Let's see what that's going to look like. I often don't use, actually, I don't use the fill so much as the satin. So watch what happens here. I'm going to increase satin to about 15%. And notice now they filled in. 
So that is something I do pretty regularly. I could go all the way to 25%, which then sometimes there's too much stitch there. It just depends how you feel about it. Um, so yeah, I think I would stay at the 15, and I believe I did do that with this design. And then all I have to do is download it onto my um, USB, which I don't have a USB in there right now. But if you wanted to do that, you just go to File, Save As, and you would find your USB on your computer here by pressing this key. And then go ahead, click that, and press down here. Say, Make sure you name your file how you want it to be named, and make sure it's a PES file for your brother machine. And then you can press Save, and you'll have that on your USB to take to your embroidery machine and put it in and stitch the design. All right, I hope you have found this helpful today. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and press subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future videos. Happy stitching! Bye!